Hello there, everybody. It's me, No Name Moments. We're back with uh, World of Waves 3 as France, where currently we're in a situation where I'm waiting for one more cruiser to rebuild, two more to uh, commission. And if I go to the division editor in a in these escort cruiser divisions, um, in the second, I should also add the Cote Lugan class Lenoy. Um... Yeah, that ship's not operational, so I cannot assign a commander to her. But I thought I could just quickly do that right now. Um, so currently, we actually have a good amount of money per month. We have two ships about to recommission. I have eight destroyers under construction um, of the Cask class. And, yeah, uh, three capital ships under construction. So, what I'm going to do is because I need to do a build program for this year, 1907, I will be modifying, or I will be taking the Democracy class design and modifying it, or modifying her, after removing all the visuals. Because I can get a ship of about the same mass as, um, you know, as democracy here. But, uh... Okay, for now, I will auto-place those. Before we go to Dreadnought. Yeah, turret era. Dread Dreadnought is fine. Um, I'll move these around in a bit. But, I can get a uh, battleship out of this. And I was just checking this beforehand. I'll have to move the uh, aft turret. I can get this. And this has like 240 weight remaining. This is already like... You know, the equivalent of... um. Or the equivalent of uh, democracy and liberté. So if I if I look at the names, so we got Patry, we got Danton. What does Patry? Uh, hold on, list of French battleships. Lips, uh, list of battleships of France. So historically, she was a Republic class. So what does her name actually mean? I don't know. A Verite would be... Okay, so you have Liberté, Justice, Verite, and Democracy. I think Justice is already laid down. Or... Justice is already in service, I should say. But I think... I want to go with Verite. Um, yeah. Lay down the battleship Verite. Unfortunately, you know, I'm not going to... I'm. It's probably going to be a while before I can do 1908's build program. Uh, but, you know, 1907's build program will be fine. And this is costing about the same as a um, Democracy. Uh, two asymmetric turret positions. Alright, so how do I actually want these, you know, cross-deck turrets placed? So I have options, um... And because France didn't actually historically use any cross deck fair turrets, it is going to be difficult to determine the option, or which option I want to use. So one option is that these turrets are intentionally pretty close to each other. The other is that they're further apart. I think I'm going to have them, you know, kind of closer to each other. Turret arcs, they would fire over each other there, so... um. 
move them just a little further apart. So that doesn't happen. Okay then. Um, so graphic wise. Okay, let's, let's start. So let me do like this. Oh wait, no, hold on. That's structure one. Sorry, uh, I should do that with structure two. I selected structure two. Why did you not give it to me? You know what? I will do this, this, and then this. And now I can go with uh, structure one. So, um, Okay, there we go. That uh, should have all of those in a proper position. So forward casemates, port wings, and go about there. Um, wait, hold on, hold on. I miss. I screwed this up. Oh god, I'm starting to have issues. The port and midships wings kind of go there. Um, Actually, you know what? I'm going to move the K turret further back. About there. And then the F turret um, a little further forward. And then just get a funnel between the two. Okay. Um... will be the central funnel I kind of want to do one back here but no okay um, I think that's vaguely what I want for Verite um, I'm going to have to around here do some uh, asymmetric superstructure work and I don't want to have do okay um actually what i could do is i could put down like a uh rectangle large maybe oh no that's big uh, too small Okay, you know what? Here's what I'll do. I'll just kind of stick three going through like this. So now I have a bunch of points I can try to use. And then this will be for structure four. Uh, 
if I had these turrets rotate the other way around? That would be so cursed. No. It would be really cursed. Would would the French do that, though? I kind of want to try. I'm not completely sure it works. Yeah, because that would mean that this turret would technically have better... This turret here would have better turret angles this way. Actually, no. It would have worse angles this way, better this way, and then this one would be the opposite. It could work, though. I don't know. I think this just looks more natural. But, I mean, I'm playing the French Navy. I should be doing cursed shit. Okay, um, no, not clear the current layer. God damn it, that stupid bug is still here. I thought I had like zapped it earlier, but no. Okay, um... You know what? I don't think that works, and I think the reason is... This casemate gun. I'd have to adjust everything to um put more of midships casemates. Although, you know, I do feel like it is appropriately cursed. Let me uh go to the graphics, um, get rid of structure three. For now, um, so structure two, I want to shift individual points. So this point needs to be more over there. Actually, you know what? That's where that casemate should go. Okay, um, that position, oh shit, I did asymmetric superstructure, um, there we go, now it's fixed. That rest angle. I feel like this is appropriately cursed. Um. 
move you just a little bit further out to the side. Yeah, so it'll be a uh, fun ship to op, or you know, kind of a fun ship to operate, but still very cursed. So yeah, um, let me get some uh, additional structures here going. Hmm. I don't want to handle this. She, yeah, we'll go out. Hmm. I don't want to do like maybe this. Okay, so I still have two more line structures to use. Let's put in five. Um, come up back here. What if I do like this? That can work. I can add more to that. And then I can I will save structure six for the moment. Hmm. So what do I want? Actually, you know what? I won't save structure six, so I'm gonna do uh structure six as a uh, Kind of something like this. Okay, so now I can start adding visuals. So let's start with a nice little circle. Let's try a 14 foot. Okay, uh, I need anchor chains actually. Try maybe straight thick. No. I actually want angled. I'll do angled thick, see what that gets me. Okay, those are fine actually. Um I think I will install a uh Breakwater. So let's try like a 50 foot. Really close to that first turret. Um, I think about where I'd want boats. Boats might wind up being like here and here. Okay, so I'm looking on the first um. French, you know, Dreadnought Battleship class on uh, the Corbets, and they, for whatever reason, put their four mast um, behind their forward funnel. Um, although, let's fix in the Britannias, and I imagine that on the Corbets it was eventually fixed. Yeah, or eventually they have a tripod mast forward. What is it with this stupid gnat? They kill it. 
constantly just having this gnat flying around in my face while trying to record these uh, videos. Just like, stop it. My question is, would I have a tri- I would probably not have a tripod mast at this time. Um, look, well, you know, looking at list of battleships of France, no, these would still be pole masts. So, get a nice circle. Probably a 12 foot. That position on that circle. To there. Then add in on top of this. Actually, hold on, hold on. Below it, I want to add something. And that would be a rectangle. Not a solid large, how does that work? Almost. A rectangle square. 12 foot. And no, that would be smaller than the circle. I'll do a 14 foot. Yeah, about there. So copy that circle, remove the old one, position the new one. So I need a mast, pole with simple cross tree. There. I do need boats. Thinking, oh, boat racks maybe? No. I don't really know what those boat racks do. I'm not sure I've seen them on anything like historical. At least not massively. Maybe they, they might be something. Uh, hold on. I will copy this. I will paste this second one over to the side. How about a boat 25? And set rest angle to 180. Set its position there. I'll do about 28 foot with divisions. Uh, set that out there. That one I'll mirror. I will do a um, 30 foot with ends and center support. Set rest angle to 180. You know, set that there. And then get a smaller boat, so maybe like a 21 foot with divisions. Eh, I'll get a 25 foot. Regular 25 foot. Actually, put it on top of that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven boats. Hey, it's a little low, but I think that's okay. I think that is good enough. So, crane one. I'm going to mirror crane one and then set the rest angle on that one to 180 degrees. Actually, no. Set the rest angle on this one back to zero. And then set that one's rest angle to 180 degrees.
that will uh that will work better i think Okay, so now I do want probably rectangle squares. Try ah, uh, sixteen foot's a little too big. I'll do a twelve foot. Have kind of those there. I do a rectangle large. About there, and then we get a mast on the back end of that. So then the mast would just be. Like, uh, what is it? Just that copied and that copied. Okay, um, We've kind of been starting to get rid of the captain's walk things at the aft end. I think this ship will be no exception to that. I don't think if I want anything here. What if I have more boat storage there? Hmm. Kind of works, but I think a rectangle square, maybe like a 12 foot. And then mirror that one last time. Okay, I think she, I think she looks good. Verite. Okay, there we go. Um, Verite will... Hopefully be laid down soon. Someone is missing a commander. That would be uh, Mall House, who needs a new commander. So I assume someone got promoted. Um, do that. Two cruises have finished the reconstruction. Was successing. Ooh, destroyer screen. That's good. Some guys got promoted. We have some averages. We have an above average. The um. I'll grab that guy. You're a Suchet. Um. If I look at these. Brian is another Suchet, so I want to grab someone off a Kotlugin or an Alger if possible. Above average on Cosmel, which is a Kotlugin. You are. Suchet. I might grab the above average from Suchet here, just so that uh, I can make assigning Suchet a new commander uh, easier. So, nope, nope. ship are you?
That is an Algier. Okay, cool. And then I can just grab a couple of unassigned guys for these ships. To, uh, you know, figure out what they do better. And at the same time, I do feel like these extra Coat Logans can be moth... Or the extra Coat Logan and um, Alger can be mothballed. I'm also having enough funding that I think I can start work on a couple more coastal subs. Um... Oh, who had it? Okay, 4th Battle Division needs a new commander. Um, we have some above average guys. Average music lover, well connected. I will take um, Duthu. I feel like I might restart the Naval Academy around 1908, 1909-ish. Um, Italian, uh, yeah, you're my ally, I will sell that. So I want to get Verite under construction. Yep, Germany has completed the first Dreadnought battleship. That was to be expected. Spain is still somewhat pissed off at us, but even when we go to war with Spain, like, I don't need to activate my full navy. Germany. Ooh. Ambassador from Germany. Uh, I don't like that they have that dreadnought, but... We'd rather go to war than agree to naval limitations. I will take that. Awesome. ASW increase. Um Because I'm trying to build I'm trying to build dreadnoughts right now. You are asking me to Germany, you are asking me to curb my naval budget at the start of the dreadnought race after you have just built one. Do you do you see? What you sound like there. Alright. Verite is under construction. Honestly, I think I have enough to start on a uh, battle cruiser. Um, I am going to go another two months, probably. Actually, hold on. The cask class is going to complete. Uh, I think that's the same amount of weight remaining as they had. So, uh, yeah, I'll just lay down another four next month. Um, but it, I probably won't be laying down any more. Our security arrangement with Italy has expired. Damn it, Italy. Yeah, let's get four more of these, uh, destroyers. Is June. Uh, next month, you know, it'll be July. We'll put those in the reserve fleet for now. I will wait till the remaining casks come out to form the new destroyer or des divs. Actually, you know what? Let, let's get them going. CD. So I will do the six des div. And the, uh, seventh destroyer division. And these will each only have four destroyers in them. But, you know, should hopefully be good. So let's go one more month. Someone doesn't have a com Oh, wait. The new divisions I just created don't have commanders. Sign a new commander. We have a lot of unassigned guys. Do we have any we don't know? We don't know um, C.V. Morin. Although, I'm probably going to move him to one of the coastal DD divisions, so the uh, Lake Goose guy I'll take instead. Yeah. 
I'll take you, then I will sign another, I'll sign an average commander. Which means I need someone here, and that you can just be uh, Morin, the unassigned guy, so we can learn more about him. So yeah, let's go one more month. Once all the casks are done, I will be moving them into the uh, proper destroyer divisions. Oh, hey. Oh, Britain got pissed off at us for spying on them. Okay, tensions with Spain are declining. Is good. I can probably cease spying on them. Who's very advanced right now? Russia is surprisingly average. So, uh, yeah, um, I think I need a successor to Strasbourg here. Um, okay, so clear all the graphics, remove all the visuals. Possible, I want to get reliable engines. So, I have a couple of choices. I could either go with a lot of 11-inch guns, um, similar to basically the same layout as uh, Verite, but with 11s. Actually, what names are available? I'll do Dunkirk. I could do that. Actually, I think I will do that. No W. Um, I want an X, an F, and a K. It is fully possible to do like twelve inch um twelve inch fire, but I think I will keep her at eleven so I can armor her a little bit better. She'll be a little smaller. I think I wanna keep her to maybe about thirty thousand tons rather than thirty one thousand. Um I can get that deck up to two and a half, yeah, that's nice. Is, is she more expensive to build than Strasbourg? No, she is not. Um, oh, hold on. That's a big jump. That Yeah, okay. That's a big jump in uh, extra weight. I mean, I could put that into more belt extended. I'll leave that at 3.5. Um, we'll get a little bit more turret armor. I could put that into a slightly thicker belt too, but eh. I mean, the thing you have to remember is that these two values are kind of adding up for this. So, you know. It is going to be a little bit more difficult to penetrate her than it probably looks. Yeah, I'll go with a belt extended of that. And we're basically now running a, uh, or we're now running, you know, basically, uh, Moltka here. A little less armored than a Moltka. Oh, you know, the reliable engines are probably just going to help this ship massively. And part of the reason I want to do those reliable engines is that she keep hope I think she'll be able to keep her speed for longer with reliable engines. So it is an investment in the future. Um My question is do I want to like hmm 
Normally, yeah, no, normally the turrets would be more inbird, so I think I will just do that. I do like the current placement of the secondary battery, so I'll just leave that as is and uh, work on the graphics. Although, I will move the forward turret more forward. Here's what I'm going to do. So let me do how about like this. Kind of back like this. Eh. I can do that. So this ship will not be as cursed as um Verite. I I think the additional um 11-inch guns are going to be better for this ship at least in terms of like armored cruiser hunting than uh the additional armored cruiser maybe battle cruiser hunting have the additional rate of fire is just going to be a little bit better. Admittedly, though, since she is French, um, I do need funnel spam. And uh, I can actually get a good amount of funnel spam here. I'm actually going to mess with uh, structure one. Um... There you go. We'll do that. And uh, hopefully this kind of extra layer here is still implying that this ship has tumble home. If you ever thought that's going away, it's not. Um, okay, so I think it was... This? Actually, I could probably do, you know... Actually, I'm going to add that back in. Uh, angled thick. Now I'm actually going to move the uh, forward turret a little bit more forward. I don't want to add a turret. Do need a break water. Add the 53 foot break water. Not too big. Got a 50 foot. Not too big again. 45 foot breakwater maybe. That's better. Actually, no, I don't think she needs it. Okay. So now it is time for additional superstructure layers. So, um... Here, I will start... This. I'll go back. Hmm.
I accidentally just pressed delete, or not delete, D. I don't know what that does on my uh, on OBS. Let's... How about I do this? There, go there. Okay, that looks vaguely interesting. Um, structure four would be, well, presumably, this kind of shape. I'm going to do that. Uh, that did not work as well as I intended it to. Um, structure for... I think that piece can go more out to the side. That piece can go more out to the side. Actually, I think that's good even with those because that kind of implies that there's maybe a little bit of a staircase there um all right so structure five so in this case i think it will just be you know a uh, vaguely symmetrical superstructure along here how about i do this this this, this, this. Oh, come on. Let me get this aligned, please. do that okay cool that actually uh worked really 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 well um is that structure five and then structure six would be something uh vaguely back here so i'm gonna do this why is there a i'm not flying around my face um, okay, so here's what I will do. Um, oop. Cross over. Go back. Up to about there. Okay. Yep, so that does allow the turret to fire back there, although I imagine that this is kind of like either a platform sticking out or it's something, you know, vaguely slanted. Okay, so that's all the main superstructure bits I get. I missed that damn gnat again. Why Why is it only when I'm recording? Oh, I wonder if it's because I'm talking so much. Talking, attracting the gnat over it could be. So I'm going to set the position of this 
circle up there. That's a 14 foot circle, so I'll use a 12 foot circle um, for the mast itself. Mast pole with simple cross tree. This is going to put me back up to the point where I am building five capital ships at the same time. Um, but the good news is that because I, you know, skipped a bunch, um, I don't have to be building, you know, eight at the same time. Because that would be really, really difficult to manage. Okay, so I want to do... How about this? I do a rectangle square to a 14 foot. Then I'll do a rectangle square large. Solid large, I should say. Um, did John Bart look on another like rectangle square, the smaller one? We'll do a ten foot. That position back about there. Now I can copy this and this. Okay. Um then I need boats. Let's do the forty foot with divisions again. Hmm. That little outcrop I did for the cranes is uh hurting me now. I'm gonna copy it put the position of the other one over there. I'm gonna set its rest angle right now to 180. Actually, set the rest angle about 160. Twenty-eight foot with divisions, right next to this. Now the other side. Um, let's do a thirty foot with ends and center support. So 25 foot with ends. That bigger, that's about the same size as the 30 foot. Uh, and then I do want another boat with divisions. So I'll do a 30 foot with divisions and set the rest angle to 180. Put it there, copy the 28 foot width divisions, and uh, nope, we need a 25 foot probably with divisions. Okay, cool. Then I want cranes. Crane one.
mirror it, and set rest angle to 180 degrees. Okay then. Um, I do want a little rectangle graded medium. Stern is kind of like, oh, you know, here's where um, little windows are. I don't know if I want to put anything here or not. Uh, is this it? Is this good enough? Or I might want to grab, like, if I can, to get one additional rectangle square. Wait, hold on. What if I did a rectangle solid large? On each of these funnels. Then just kind of added one last little rectangle medium. Or not rectangle medium, one rectangle square. I'll go 12 foot. Okay, there we go. That's uh, Dunkirk. Alt print screen that. Check, make sure she's okay. Actually, I should probably alt print screen her here. Um... Yep, cool. There, uh, there she is. She'll take uh, four months to design, and uh, that that should be good. Uh, okay, I have a commander issue. I'm guessing deployed to Loam's commander promoted, and uh, the Vossier's commander also probably promoted. So you can just grab any. Random guy, you probably do need somebody who's actually good. We do have a couple above average people there, so there we go. Um, Deploy to Loam is pro yeah, Deploy to Loam and uh, Pothow are might be ships I look at um refitting soon. I don't think we're close enough to war. Somebody left the service. Getting average commander there. Hold on, let me add ships to these. You get the first four cast class. You get the next four. Oh god, even the... Chasselu Lebeau's are starting to have uh, speed issues now. Um, yeah, that's not great for my light cruiser or for my protected cruiser force. I need to get these new ones done. Oh, who doesn't have a commander? You don't have a commander, so Suche. Lost her commander. And, um... I don't know who to grab. Cartes is... No, that's a good one. Grant, I assume, is a good one. Okay, Pascal would be a Pascal cast. Oh, we can grab the Colt Logan guy on you and assign a new commander here. Okay, Les Quinn on uh, Sir Koof. I didn't see him on the first... There we go. Okay. 
I think actually now is about the time I start or I run the Naval Academy again. I I think now is a good choice. Um fine. And now we get four center line turrets on ships. Um I think though I'm just gonna build Dunkirk as is. Okay, someone someone got promoted. And the commander of this, you know, second light cruiser division. So I still wanna grab a CA for you. Preferably, because I have a lot of them. Unassigned ends about God. Ends there. An unassigned average CA. No, I'll put you in charge of the division. I want to get Dunkirk laid down. Okay, there we go. Mm. I will take the we're happy. Oh, who went up to... Okay, guy got promoted. Um, That was the commander of Suchet. It does really seem like I'm starting to lose... Oh, the, Co the guy of Coat Logan is above average. Okay, cool. Means I can grab you. Oh, did someone else get promoted? Oh, yeah, someone else did. Commander of Bouvet. I'm grabbing, I can grab an above average guy. I have enough of them. Okay, um, Austria-Hungary and Russia are still allies. Okay, uh, guy of the 7th Church Division has left the service. And two guys got promoted. Commander of Sully got promoted. I want an above-average guy. I'll take you, because you're a good administrator. And then Freant needs a new commander. Um, the new guy on Coat Logan is also, once again, above average. I have a guy from a Coastal DD division. Then grab uh, two unassigned uh, CVs, or Captain de Vassos, for it. Um, I want to take a look at something. Oh yeah, officers. Okay, yeah, it's still only two dead officers, and uh, if I look at the ranks, I have seven um, emeralds now, all in staff positions. And the incompetent guy left the service. Great. He's the only guy I know for certain is incompetent, and uh, he didn't get really... wasn't doing much. He got removed from his command and uh, hasn't had it back. Or didn't get another one despite being there for... Yeah, I don't think Spain's going to go to war with me. And I will do that to get the budget. And there we go. Dunkirk is now laid down. And not only that, we are now five or six turns away from getting Democracy, nine from uh, Liberté, and seven from Strasbourg. Um. Who has no commander assigned? 
is a division, isn't it? Yep. First destroyer division is no commander assigned. Probably don't want a timid guy on a destroyer division. Um. What about some of the guys on the coastal destroyer divisions? Uh, like Goose is on. No, he's on an actual destroyer division. I'll grab this guy. All right, let's go one more month. January of 1908. It'll be the start of a new year. Hmm. Take the tension increase. And more, uh, more tech. Spain now has a Dreadnought building and a CA building, but we're still in a significantly better position, although I assume well, they've not yet commissioned that ship. They're building a Dreadnought in Germany, and those are their best battleships right now. We can easily beat that. I mean, we are we are about to have democracy in service. Oh god, Germany already has their first three battleships in service. Fun. Don't have their battle cruisers yet. Oh, oh my God, Britain! Britain commissioned an entire class, and they have three battle cruisers building. So we are fairly late to the race, but I think part of this is just, um, part of it is just the French shipbuilding industry. And before I go. Before I go, the guys got promoted. Which, uh, if I go to the division editor, means the first coastal division now has no commander. Um, we have unassigned people here. I will grab an unassigned CV to try to figure out what they are. We have uh, Protet. Who needs a new commander? I shall grab the uh, guy from Suchet. You need a new commander, but you can take somebody who isn't as good. Well, a guy off a coastal destroyer division. Only one guy I have left. Got all the guys on. Uh, Those are bad, so I will have to take a gamble and take that guy. Um, yeah, with all of that said, I think that is it for, uh, I think that's it for this turn. Part of me is, like, expand dock size. I think part of me is thinking, mm, no, we have 14-inch guns unlocked. That'll be expensive, but I think it'll be worth it. To get larger docks, especially given that, um, you know, we're going to have three capital ships commissioned this year. So the capital ship printer will be able to keep going. We'll get Democrity, we'll get Liberté, and we'll get Strasbourg done. Or actually, Democrity, Strasbourg, and then uh, Liberté. So what will probably happen is I'm probably going to complete... Democracy, and then design the battleship for this year, and then I'll complete Strasbourg and design the battle cruiser for this year. Um, actually, no, I probably want to. Okay, it takes four months to design it. I'll probably try to do, you know, when when Democracy is maybe two months out from completion. Yeah, I think when Democracy is two months out from completion, I'll design the new battleship. And when uh, Strasbourg is also two months, I'll design the new battle cruiser. Um, maybe one month on Strasbourg, just to give a little bit more time, because I'm currently a bit into the red. And then, of course, once Liberté completes, um, that's just all budget, which I, you know, all budget I'm eff effectively saving. Anyway, 
Thank you everyone for watching. This has been me, No Name of Seven Spore, with Rule the Waves 3. Um, we're pissing off Spain a bit more to keep our budget high, and Spain really can't do anything to us, so who cares? Uh, yeah, that I will see you next time. Links are down below to my Twitch, Twitter, and Discord if you're interested in any of the things, as well as a officially recognized but actually unofficial Rule the Waves Discord if you want to join that. Uh, and once again, thank you to Matrix, uh, Slytherin, and Naval Warfare Simulations for giving me the key to check out this, or not check out this game, to uh, play this game and show it to you all, even though it's like way past the date it's out at this point. Um, yeah, it's, 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 it's pretty good. A little jank, but pretty good. Uh, get it unless your monitor's like really big. Well, actually, no. If your monitor is really big, that's good. If your monitor is really high resolution and smaller, you want your... Get this game if your pixel size isn't, like, really tiny. This is what I am saying. If your pixel size is really tiny or you have, like, bad eyesight and, you know, a 2K monitor, then you have an issue. But outside of that, you're fine. Um... Like, if you have a 1080p monitor, you'll be fine. So, yeah. I'll see you next time. Bye!